you've ever seen The Matrix? Chances are that you have. It's a rather popular film. In one particular sequence, the protagonist, Neo, is presented with a conundrum. The red pill or the blue pill? A choice between learning the absolute truth behind reality and the blissful ignorance of illusion. Neo eventually decides to take the red pill and does indeed learn the truth, as horrifying as it may be. He learns that he's been living inside a simulation this whole time and he's now finally experiencing true reality. At least, that is what you, the viewer, is led to believe, but an aspect that is somewhat dismissed is that the red pill doesn't grant you knowledge of reality as much as it completely eradicates any distinction between real and fake. Let me ask you this, when watching the movie, did you ever question if the supposed true reality that Morpheus and the gang exist within is actually true reality? What's to say that they are not inside a simulation themselves? I mean, up until this point, the Matrix was just as real as this newfound reality. If anything, the Matrix only proves that knowing what reality is and is not is an impossibility. And this could potentially go on for infinity, never reaching any sort of true, actual reality, if that even exists. Just a simulation within a simulation, within a simulation, within a simulation, within a simulation. Yeah, and so on, and so on, and so on. This video is not really about the Matrix per se, but it's hopefully a digestible introduction to the profound and intricate topic of this video. The idea that the universe and reality itself could be a simulation is not something new. We can trace similar ideas as far back as the time of ancient Greece when numerous philosophers around the world alluded to the idea that reality could be an illusion. Chinese philosopher Zhang Zhu compared his own existence to that of a dream in which he believed himself to be a butterfly. He questioned the distinction between reality and a dream if there are many interpretations of this allegory which can be applied to a vast range of topics. It can be interpreted as a way of understanding the importance of knowledge and how it shapes reality, or it could be an analogy for human ignorance and our unwillingness to seek truth and wisdom. It could also be read like this. Just like the shadows in this cave, could our perceived reality be a shadow of something else. It's only natural for us to assume that the complexity of the universe must be very complicated. The world can often seem very confusing, random, unpredictable and even unexplainable. What the game of life quite elegantly illustrates is that complexity can actually be the result of simplicity. If you and I and everything around us is the result of computable information, it stands to reason that that information can be modified and manipulated to an endless extent. We would be nothing more than puppets in a theater. Maybe the simulation began seconds ago and we only think it's been 13.9 billion years because that information was artificially included upon its creation. Maybe the universe is really, really tiny and all distant celestial bodies are simplistic renditions to create the illusion of enormity. Maybe. A big reason why ideas related to simulating reality has become so popular in mainstream media like movies and video games is that on the surface it seems very plausible. If we look at what we could do just a few decades ago and compare it to modern technology, it's easy to imagine a future wherein technology has advanced far enough that it's indistinguishable from reality itself. And while there's nothing that explicitly prevents that from happening in the future, there are definitely limitations to what we can and cannot do. Over the past half century, the processing power of computers has doubled every two years, which is an observation known as Moore's Law. But this what about creating a simulation for entertainment purposes? So far, I've only talked about simulations as self-contained systems. You write some code, press execute, and hope for the best. 
but wouldn't it be far more interesting to create simulations that we can not only interact with, but also experience to the point of complete immersion? Software like video games are great examples of interactive simulations, and hardware like the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive are some of the most immersive technologies available to the public. Well, they, they will be soon at least. Of course, these are only aimed at stimulating the audiovisual senses. What about everything else, like touch, for example? Well, there's full body suits like the Tesla suit, vests like the Core FX, and gloves like the Hans Omni. These will give the illusion of actually holding virtual objects, getting hit by bullets, and possibly even give the sensation of temperature. Then there's also entire systems built to create a virtual experience, usually designed according to a specific game or game type. There's driving and racing simulators, flight simulators, railway simulators, etc. If you want to navigate inside a virtual environment, your best option at the moment is something like the Virtuox Omni. All of these technologies are fantastic, but they are not ideal. They are only the beginning of the virtual reality revolution that likely waits ahead. If this technology continues to advance and is able to entirely escape the realm of science fiction, the world as we know it and the future we often imagine will dramatically change. When we try to imagine the distant future, we often think of humanity as these grand explorers of the universe. It's often just assumed that we will continue to expand outwards far beyond the Earth and the solar system. Of course, this is under the optimistic assumption that no apocalyptic events takes place and that we steadily continue to progress and innovate. Almost every non-apocalyptic futuristic science fiction tale describes humanity as a species that will expand outwards. And maybe that's true. But when this technology turns into reality, why would you want to? A powerful virtual reality could allow us to do anything and everything. No fear of harm or death, no irreversible consequences for your actions, no physical limitations. The ability to customize and manipulate the world around us to fit our personal needs and preferences. Just like in a dream, maybe it's possible to manipulate the brain's sense of time. Real world minutes could turn into virtual years. Could that be why the universe can seem so lifeless even though it's been around for such a long time? Perhaps every civilization that reaches a certain technological maturity realizes that expanding outwards to explore the universe is pointless when expanding inwards using technology allows you to do so much more. I've never made a video like this before, a video heavy on speculation and even touching on some philosophical questions. Hopefully you don't think I've gone completely insane. It's so difficult to make a video about these topics without sounding like you have some sort of religious faith in the Matrix waiting for Morpheus to come down from the heavens. It's far-fetched, highly speculative and mostly just fun to think about.